right then, boys and girls. Here we are on our way to the Indianapolis 1500 gun show. Got us a pack of Marlboro, some snus, because you know, I'm trying to quit. And my certified service shirt. Right now I'm wearing a shirt I got at Goodwill, Mustang. You know, I really, I am trying to quit. I, it, it's got nothing in it, I, you know. I had music playing, I got some Kenny Chesney, I got some Trey Atkins. You can't hear it because I, well, I paused it, obviously, but because I don't want to get copyright tracked. Them fucking capitalist pigs. I'm going to try to get me a high point 9mm. It's called a C9. I have only got $400 to spend, so I ain't spending that much on this shit. I'm rough and ready, all right? So let's get this shit on the road. Here at the entrance, we are at the state grounds. I am just trying to get in. Get me, get me some guns, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, so where, where do I go? You're going all the way down, and you're yep. gonna make a left. You're going to that uh, building in the back corner, the name of Expo Hall. All right, God bless, all thank right. you. There's the cream of the crop. This is where all the guns are at, I think. I don't know, this, is ex this has got chickens on it. I don't fucking know. Is this it? This is where all the cars are. You know, I should have brought some tiki torches and left them in the car just to blend in. I do have some. Oh man, you know, I also had a fucking sticker I should have put on here. The fucking fraternity of the fucking police sticker. I got that on eBay to fucking blend in and not get shot. All right, see you inside. Okay, so apparently I can't bring this in. It, you saw the sign, it said no video equipment allowed. I would say this is video equipment. Phone is too, but fuck you, it's my phone. I'm bringing it in, I don't care. Indy 1500 gun show. And I gotta warn you guys, I gotta do this discreetly because this is a this is a place full of ideology. I just heard someone saying fascism is an economic yeah, system. Yeah. And I guess it is, because it is tied with capitalism in such a way, but I don't think he was rooting against it. I think he was for it. Do you have high points? I own a person. Do you like it? I own a person. Okay. I can take you to my house. I got a life save. I can show you three. My house. That's pretty sweet. I'm interested in that kill tag. Okay. 165, that ain't bad. I got think. Oh. This motherfucker just straight up asked, do you do background checks? They better do background checks. I bet you they don't sometimes if you don't ask. Yeah, so this doesn't have a price on it. The uh, the C9. Yes. Uh, one forty nine. Okay. I will probably come back. Those eight years of Obama should be wiped off. The record won't be though. Because we should have gone two thousand eight and jump to two thousand sixteen. Well, you know what we need to do? We need to stand up and say the Democrats, that they should remove Democrats in the Democratic period, and this is why. In 1836, when they voted to free the slaves, the Democrats voted 100% no. Exactly. Oh, yeah. The Republicans right. voted yes. The KKK was started by I'm the Democrats. I'm going to tell you what, you get these average people, these average millennials, they don't They're realize old. that the Democrats are the party of the KKK and the party so, of the lynching and everything. Since they think that, that, that historically that the, the, the monuments ought to go because of the racism, then then we need to remove Democrats because of historical racism. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's true. Sense. That's true. Uh, Not really. Pure ideology. Pure ideology. <sighs> okay, so I'll tell you what I'm not here to do. I'm getting on an ideological fight. So the thing about... The thing about the Democrats being the uh, party of the KKK is that during the 1950s, they did the old switcheroo. I'm going to put some history on screen here. Show you. But... There's a thing called Dixiecrats. Yeah. Ooh, they don't like hearing that. Dixiecrats. 
you guys have high points? I guess it would be over there, right? Nine mil, with nine mil. Laser. Did you see it? No. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. See if that ain't but the nine. Right there in front of takes, with the laser, it takes a special. Is it? Ride. It is. Yeah. Mm. 189, there's another price. The <laughs> show price is right here. 189. Okay, cool. Thank you. The price is on the tag. Yeah. <laughs> 180, no thank you. And you said what? How much? 140. Well, can I take a look at the? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We want that's to see the, mag? The, the mag, the mag. I know. It, I, well, I had another kind of mags. You, here, why don't you put it in your hand first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you like. I think you appreciate the extra. Thank yeah. You. Okay, so I'm holding this fucking high point in a fucking Walmart bag and I'm getting all kinds of weird looks. I don't know if it's because of this or because they just like smell the fucking socialism on me or something but I'm gonna just try and find a case for this piece of shit and some ammo and then, and then I'm gonna go try it. I'll get back to you. This was this was a racial thing, though. The neighborhoods were, were stocking on up on weapons. Oh, really? In the local shops. Yeah. No shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was there was more black people in the show yesterday than, than even today. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. today I there's hardly anybody, you know. So, you know, but wonder why were, that is. You know, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know why it is. You know, you yeah. never you you, you can't you. you you can't predict people. Yeah, no, you know, it's true. You know, it's true. No matter what race they are, you can't predict them. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I mean, you cannot bet on a human being because one, just about the time you got them figured out, bam, they're changing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So, yeah. You know, that but, is that is something. But yeah, I, you know, and I, I didn't notice that until I just looked down out and I, you know. I mean, today's thing is pretty. Yeah. I mean, pretty you know, white. You know, I just saw there's one gentleman over here. You know, that's carrying a, a, a long gun right here in front of you. Where? Right, 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 right there. Over here, on your left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That black guy right you know, there, so yeah. I, yeah, yeah, so, but I don't see, you know, tons, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, tons I, you know, I, but I see. Yeah, I've, seen, I've I, seen a few here and there. Yeah, but I, I see tons of white guys out there. I mean, yeah. so, so I don't see no racial thing going on here. Mm-hmm. So, not today, but yesterday I did see more. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, know, first day, I'm sure. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's like again, it's it's hard to predict, you know. But yeah, yeah. It's, so it, basically, the, the moral of the whole story is that the local shops is doing real good business. Mm, you know? Okay, so, okay, okay. Okay, so I got what I came for, and I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly ease out of this accent because I don't want to go full Brooklyn on you, but I'm gonna ease out of it, and uh, I'm happy with what I got. Got a hundred bullets, nine millimeter, twenty bucks. No, no taxes. Don't tread on me. On my gun rights. Freedom first. It's a, it's a sticker with them snakes on it. Show them motherfuckers. Free. I vote, and I'm in the NRA. None of which are true. Case, nine bucks, tax free, cash only. Gun, compensator, high point, ten round. 10 round mag, it's uh, usually, yeah, it's a 10 round mag, usually it's an eight round, so two extra rounds. Got that shit. And uh, the high point, it is used, but it's a lifetime warranty, so I could just send it on in and probably get a replacement. Lifetime warranty, no matter what, no questions asked. Look it up, 145. I like the way it taps against my, my ring, my trust ring. The ring I wear to get people to trust me, and they did. They had a lot of, they had a lot of talking to do with me. So that's the uh, 2017 Indy 500. I might come back in November for some more shit. Rednecks don't own the right to guns, okay? The left should buy more guns. Go out and get yourself a gun. Safety zone. Indy Arms Co. We're headed to it. We're going to shoot. Closest gun range to the gun show. 
fucking get the, look at this faggot ass runner. Get out of the street, you dumb ass. Here we are, in the gun arms, in the arms, co. Firing training range, let's do this shit. I ain't a good shot, but honestly, I don't have to be. I ain't fucking competing or anything. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, uh, so lesson learned, lefties, get a gun. If you can, I'm in a very lax gun state, Indiana. You could just get a, you could just go to a gun show, get a gun. They do a background check, but you know, you find a, you find there's motherfuckers walking around just with a gun strapped to them that says for sale. You could just get that. So I'm glad it's over because I fucking don't want to listen to Kenny Chess anymore, and I'm tired of doing this accent because it hurts my tongue and jaw. And goddamn it, fucking live free, man. Live free, man. Come on. Come on now. Stay woke, man. Stay woke, brothers and sisters. Stay woke.